Welcome to a brand new podcast. As always, as always, this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, if you want to put your brand on this podcast, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. And that's also the same email if you want to make a free will offering, you want to donate to this podcast or show your support. We're definitely looking for more support. You know, we want to always expand. So even if it's a dollar, two dollars, whatever you can spare, email evolutionoflondon at gmail.com and send you a free will offering. You know, it takes a lot of work to put content on and I know you guys like the content and expect it every week so definitely show your support even your regular listeners show your support you know just you know send something we would definitely appreciate that Uh, you can shop online to our baby shopping mall www.evolutionoflondon.com That's our online shopping mall with a whole wide range of products. That's men's, kids, ladies' clothing, uh, house products, jewelry, office supplies, furniture, and, and much, much more. So check out evolutionoflondon.com. Also check out evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we have... <clears throat> custom clothing, accessories, as well as digital products for personal as well as business use, uh, digital products such as e-books and software. And finally, check out evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. There we have accessories such as shea butter, lotions, DVDs, clothing, and much more. So check out evolutionoflondon.store. Check out the company Royalty 9 International Luxury Candle Company. They have 12 ounce jars, 100% soy wax candles. And they have scented as well as unscented candles from eucalyptus, peppermint, jasmine, sandalwood, and much, much more. So check that out also and if any questions concerns email them at royalty 9 international at gmail.com and also you can follow them on social media tiktok as well as instagram royalty 9 international music cheap limousine channel cheap limousine channel on youtube have a whole wide range of different beats for your entertainment And once you go to the Cheap Limousine channel, you will see other social media sites. So I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Check out Greatness 19 channel. The road to 1K. Getting close. Whole wide range of videos. Over 425 videos for your everyday needs and to open up your third eye so greatness 19 channel on youtube and also check out mr evolution of london that's our health and wellness channel definitely have a lot of good stuff on that channel so like subscribe and share to mr evolution of london and pass the word around family friends and foe to the Greatness 19 channel as well, Mr. Evolution of London. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant and can be yours. He's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a free consultation, email him at willysfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willys, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And support his merch www.wjaaccessories.org, O-R-G. 
There you will find custom clothes, accessories, and digital products as well. Check out Oliver Twist, located 130 King Street. That's downtown London, Ontario. Why I say that? Because it is Uptown Friday night that you need to check out. Every Friday night, Uptown Friday night, on the ones and twos is DJ Panthro. Starting time is 9 p.m. until 2 a.m. Located downtown London, Ontario, Covent Garden Market. Telephone number of Oliver Twist is 519 204 9184. And DJ Panther is giving you a wide range of old school and new school. One of the best DJs in Southwestern Ontario. So, again, support the machine. It is written. And also check out AT Repair Center. Support AT Repair Center. Business been around for over 20 years, or he have, I should say, over 20 years of experience. And who am I talking to or talking about? His name is Freedom. Yes, that's right, Freedom. He have two locations, 1401 Ernest Avenue, Unit 15, London, Ontario. Their telephone number at the first location is 519-204-7300. They sell at the first location computers, iPods, iPads, and all different types of phones and accessories. The email address is atcellphonerepair at gmail.com. And the second location, they wholesale. Uh, they wholesale computers, iPads, iPods, all different phones and accessories. 93 Wellington Street North. Again, that's London, Ontario. Toll-free number is 877-358-0026. And the local number is 226-503-3300. Number one for parts and accessories in London, Ontario. And they also provide security cameras and install. Finally, their email address is atwholesaler at gmail.com. That's A-T-W-H-O-L-E-S-E-L-L-E-R at gmail.com. Now, if you want to also check out our affiliates, uh, check out www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London for different affiliates. Also, our Patreon channel, videos that is now on YouTube, www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. So definitely check that out as well. Now, the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. Any information that I haven't mentioned will be in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast, the Greatness 19 channel, Mr. Evolution of London, and finally, www.theoracle19radio.com. Okay, well, again, as usual, topics are going to be hot and heavy coming down the pipe, given my perspective might rub you the wrong way, but I give my perspective anyway. And today we're going to talk about is same-sex marriage a good thing? Yes, is same-sex marriage a good thing? I know, brace yourself. Well, let's start out with this. There's people that agree and people that do not agree. Now, let me just start out by saying this. You can do whatever you like. You can marry whoever you want to marry. I personally don't care. You don't affect my life. You can marry a tree I think I heard of a story somebody 
was in love with a tree. You have to Google that. There's strange people out here in these streets. Yes, a person was in love with a tree. I, you gotta Google that. I, I I heard that story before. I think I seen it on video. This is, yeah, but anyway. And then you had people had sex with their car. Yeah, a lot of weird things in this day and time. Okay, so nothing should surprise you out here in these streets. Society has has uh, gone down in terms of their mental state. So nowadays everything is acceptable. But back to our saying same sex marriage is that a good thing? Well, is it a good thing? Some people will say, uh, again, no. And reason why? Because, number one, some people is religious and they sh- have a strong belief in the Bible or what the Bible states. You'll find, you know, within the scriptures, I'm not going to really get into the scriptures and and preach and so forth. You just have to look them on your own. But you can, if you're having trouble, you can just go and Google the Bible and, and, uh, and homosexuality in the book of Leviticus. I believe in the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. Try that out. For, see if that may be, if that help you or if I'm accurate. But again, different uh, Bible, well, I would, say, I would say different Bibles, but different uh, books. Uh, basically, you'll find that in Islam and and even in the Bible, uh, Christianity, if you follow, if you uh, say, uh, I say loosely, if you're a true Christian, or if you are into Jewish law, you can find that out as well. But my point I'm making is in some in certain people's mindsets they and even if the non-religious people some people find that offensive and wrong they state because you can't procreate with same sex marriage some people feel that It should be basic, man and woman. Well, we did start out on this planet Earth when we came out of the womb as a man or woman. There's not too many homophodites out here. And just in case you don't know what a homophodite is, this person with two genitalia, uh, female genitalia and um, male genitalia. You do have cases, not a lot, but you do have cases of homorphodites that are born into this world. Do you feel there's a sickness? Do you feel is mentally it's a mental illness. It's same-sex marriage. Some people feel that way. Some people feel it's disgusting. Unnatural. Unholy. Ungodly. 
the question is why 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 would people think is ungodly and unholy for same sex marriage which it was stated earlier because for religious reasons and uh, the what people will say the natural order of things the natural order of life again mentioned man and woman but let me give you this caveat me personally you could fall in love with a tree you're not in it. You, uh, that's irrelevant. Your life is irrelevant to my life. Personally. Now, if you're part of my peoples, I'm going to look at you sideways. But that's me. Everybody have rights to their opinion. I'm not, as long as I'm not me personally infringing on your lifestyle, right? And vice versa. But some people will totally disagree with the lifestyle. Some people also will say this is why the world, especially in North America... One of many reasons why this society is chaotic. And I mentioned this on previous shows. Within the same sex marriage, people don't know who they are these days. And that's scary. Again, it's very scary in this day and time because if you don't have stability of who you are as a person, mentally, how can you function within society properly? This is how a lot of people feel. Now, I know people that agree with same-sex marriage will look at it, well, I, people, they function just like any other human being. What do you mean, greatness? Let me explain. You see... On the opposite side of the fence, the people that disagree with same-sex marriage would say most people that are homosexuals are not stable-minded. Now, that's totally, a lot of people would disagree with that. If you are a man on a Monday and a woman on a Tuesday, this is just one example. Are you stable minded? That's my question from me to you, courtesy of what other people feel, the ones that disagree. And let's get even deeper. Society that believes with the same-sex marriage, every society, or let's go with this, even from history 
to present. Every society in history, from present to past, that believe in same-sex marriage, was that society stable-minded? I say it again, and I'm going to give examples. Every society that believe in same-sex marriage from present to past, were they were or, or are they a stable society? Give an example here in North America, the United States and Canada. Comparing to what it was uh, 200, 300 years ago, which when it was more, more against, I should say not more, but when it was against same-sex marriage, were they stronger as a society? You had a man and woman. When society was basic, United States was at its strongest. But now have now that they implement laws in agreement to same-sex marriage, is the country still strong like it used to be? Now, I know there's different examples of why the country is going down in terms of its mental state. But does this add on? That's my question for me to you. And if you go back to the ancient Romans and Greeks and they practice homosexuality, so forth, what happened to their society? Now, I know there's other reasons on top of that, but we're just talking about the mental state of society. Because again, if you, the citizens of a country overall, their mental state has low, it's lowered. Follow what I'm saying. If their mental state is lowered, Or a low frequency. Can the society function? Yes, they can function, but you know it's only a matter of time when it will be a total collapse. Because in order for a country to flourish, majority of the citizens have to be strong-minded and know who they are. And there has to be rules and regulations for to follow. Again, this is the opinions of people that are indifferent or you know don't agree with same-sex marriage. Again, I will say with me, you could be a fly, you could marry a fly. Have a great time. Power to you. It don't matter to me. Because you're not affecting me per se. But I'm just giving a perspective of what a lot of people would think. So, there's people that agree with same-sex marriage. Oh, you know, people could be me and free. They could do whatever they want. You know, it's a wonderful thing. You know, it's, it's just everything is love, love, love. You can love whoever you want. Why not? And love and love and more love. Right. That's fine. Knock yourself out. Fantastic.
But if you notice, all countries that's in agreement with same-sex marriage, what happens to their society as a whole? You know, it brings, see, another thing, it brings confusion with the babies. See, you start out with the babies, the babies will see two women married together. This story is where you have a family, whole family. You have two, uh, a man, two men, and they have, they raising a child. Who's the dad? Who's the mom? Or just they say it's two dads. Confusion number one. You have two women. Who's the, who's the dad? Who's the mom? They just will say it's two moms. More confusion. Oh, see this? You start out, the, the children already start out confused. Then you have trans, trans gentlemen. There's stories where you have a woman, she's now changed over to a man, and a man changed over to a woman, and they're raising a child. The man was once a woman, and the woman was once a man. More confusion. So what do you think these babies, you, you, do you really think, let's be for real, okay? Let's stop the BS. Let's put your personal opinions and feelings aside for a moment. Do you think, I mean, for even for the one, people that agree with sex, same-sex marriage and the people that disagree, let's just put it in a pot. Do you think the babies seeing this from zero to let's say eight years old so far seeing this in real time in front of them growing up like this do you think it brings stability mentally for them now I know the ones that agree with same sex might will say yeah it doesn't matter we we can raise them and they could be healthy really do you really think that brings stability mental stability just my opinion a question actually just a question do you think it brings mental stability to the babies see in life you know sometimes and this is a side note your feelings and your opinions you have a right to but do you have a right to confuse the babies because of your personal feelings, your per, your personal wants, your personal desires. Should your personal feelings and your personal wants infringe the babies who's impre- who don't have who minds is not developed yet and are impressionable? You know, in cartoons, the nowadays, the powers that be implement and push homosexuality to the babies at a young age. Do the babies really need to see that? Do the babies need to know that? That's the that's my question. Do the babies really need to? Because of your personal feelings of being a homosexual or agreeing with homosexuality, that's one thing. That's your, you adult, that's your opinions, your feelings, your desires. Power to you. But do you, do, but do you need to push that agenda on the babies? Is it right? Or should the babies have a healthy, stable mindset 
And then as they get older, when their minds develop, you can have an argument where they can be who they want to be when they're adult, when their minds develop. Y'all scientists say the, the brain don't develop for until a person is like, what, 21, 25 years old, something of that nature. So at one years old, do they need to see their mom and dad trans gentlemen? Does that, is that something that the, the brain is going to develop? Who's who? Or, or let me guess, you will say it doesn't matter because love is love. Well, okay, you might love that child. I'm not disagreeing with you with that. But who's the man? Who's the woman? You will say it don't matter. Love is love. It shouldn't matter who you be. Well, then, if that's the case, if that's the case, let's open up everything, the can of worms here. Let's open up everything. If you will, if you say it doesn't matter and it shouldn't matter, all right, all right. Let's let's go there. Let's go there. I, let's say me, going to say I'm an elephant. I'm an elephant. No, a hippopotamus. A fly. A tiger. I going to say I'm a tiger. And matter of fact, I'm going to paint myself in the colors of a tiger. This is going to sound ridiculous, but no, let's go there now. Let's go there. Because since you have the right, same-sex marriage is a good thing. Let's open everything up now. I'm a tiger. I paint my face. Stripes. And I start eating what tigers and start performing what tigers do. I submerge myself in that mindset of a tiger. I'm dead serious with this. This might sound ridiculous, but I'm dead serious. And I find another mate, a woman, and she say she's a a tiger and we actually will crawl on our own uh, on our hands and and feet or our hands and knees all around the city that's that's we we just going to do that we're going to crawl around every time you see us we painted in the tiger colors and we crawling on our we crawl around on our fours per se everywhere we go and we decide to have a child and we teach our child to accept us crawling on the ground all throughout the world and have our whole body covered in the colors of a tiger but we love this child love is love right would you have a problem with that is it a good thing but I say no you can't infringe on my rights as a tiger I get it even notarized that I officially call myself a tiger. And if anyone disagree and say, no, you're a human being, why are you painting your body like a tiger and crawling around you and your wife? That's pathetic. And I say, Why? 
I got rights too. I have rights. I'm a tiger. And you say, no, you are human. A male human. I say, what? What are you talking about? I'm a tiger. I'm, I choose to be non-binary tiger. And so is this non-binary tiger that you thought is a woman. But no, we don't classify ourselves as a particular gender. We are tigers and we are non-binary. Whatever that means today. Basically, don't, you know, we... I believe free flowing, you know, we're not man or woman, no classification. We just free free flowing. But I'ma say that. I'm a non-binary tiger. Or a binary tiger. Whatever it is. I I you don't classify me as a, a gender. I'm just a tiger. My, my mate and I are tigers. Would you have a problem with that? You probably say this is insane. This is insanity here. And I say, no, I have rights. I can be wherever I want to be. I can choose to be an animal if I wish to. I have rights. And if you try to infringe on my rights as a tiger, we I could take you to court. Am I wrong? Don't I have rights too? Let's go there. Let's go. Let's go deeper then. Uh, it, might as well. I am not a tiger anymore. I'm a rabbit. I mean, I, whatever animal I want to be, I just I feel like I, I'm a I'm a rabbit today. D- don't hum- don't ra- don't animals have rights too? Look, we all from the animal kingdom. I just choose not to be human no more because I want to be free. We all belong to the animal kingdom, technically. As humans, we are part of the animal kingdom. Our genetics, scientists said that we came from monkeys and all of this other jazz. So we coming from an animal kingdom, reptile kingdom, whatever you want to say. So I could say I'm a reptile because I I have web hands. I'm a reptilian. We have scaly skin. So I'm a reptilian now. I have rights. The shape of my forehead proved that. Some of y'all guys it look like Sas- Sas- Bigfoot. I would say Sasquatch. I couldn't say that. But Bigfoot. You could say I'm from the Bigfoot generation. Because you got hairy skin. You got you hairy from the from your head to your toe. So you are belongs to the Bigfoot family. So you're not a human. You're a Bigfoot. And you got rights too. We, we, we could keep going on to this rabbit hole. So instead of saying what we say, same sex marriage, same sex marriage for humans that now crossed over to animals. Can you infringe on my rights now because I officially crossed over and said I'm an animal? I'm a Bigfoot, rabbit, or a tiger? You see where I'm getting at? So, does this make a country, a society mentally strong when people don't know who they are? That's my question for me to you. I gave these examples, might not be the best examples, but I just gave you a perspective for you to just think about it. 
just think about it. And again, every society that implement same genders, they was they was or are a weak minded nation and they on their way down very fast. This is this is what it is. This is what it is. Now again, I will say you could be whatever you want to be. You can marry whoever you want to marry. You don't infringe on my rights and I don't infringe on your rights. But is a society stable minded? Are you stable minded? I'm not one to judge you per se. Only you know. Not me. You know about you. I know about me. Sometimes. <laughs> A little humor. So, this is a perspective. Is same-sex marriage a good thing? Something for you to think about. Me, personally, I like stability. I like stability. I keep things basic. Me, personally. I like stability. I repeat that again. I like my my life stable, knowing who I am, structured, where I see man and one man. That's me. All of these other things, you know, a man on a Monday, a woman on a Tuesday, two women and two men, and everybody's just dancing around, and you know, it, it, it's for me, it's confusion. I'm getting more confused every day. So I just got to stand back and just say, I pass. People calling this a non-binary, binary, back to binary. I, uh, I don't, what, what, what's, what's going on here? Undefined. Nobody knows. I'm not a man. I'm not a woman. I'm undefined. I'm undefined oh what's what's that i'm looking at a man don't call me a man i'm undefined don't call me a man or woman i'm binary non-binary what i don't know don't call me mister i am a thing uh, you look like a woman you look like a woman to me Maybe you're an ugly woman, but you look like a woman to me. You might be a thing. Might look like a gorilla, but you 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 look you still a woman to me. I mean, nowadays it's so confusing. I see the what I what you see nowadays is and I know I'm expanding on this. I see you know, you know what's confusing? Now, I just example. You see these big old refrigerator looking upper body, big upper body females that should be men, but they're actually women. And then you see in real time trans gentlemen, as my man Mr. Jap said. Uh, call it call them and the similarities is there I don't know if it's a woman or a man or you know it is it's getting crazy out here I, I'm I, you know it's it's hard to t it's getting harder to tell and then you think you you seeing men and men is now women walking women is looking like men is cross dressing and surgery surgeries being performed and 
changes is made and things is cutting and snipping and everything is just a one big illusion. You don't know who's who. That's why I say to y'all men, specifically, because I'm here for y'all men, be careful of who... You can't be running around here just having sex all (laughs) willy-nilly. Yeah, I'm biting off of Cedric the Entertainer. You can't... You just can't be out here just wilding out. On because you don't know who's who, and I and I mean that seriously. You think you see in a woman, and you know that woman is a man. And nowadays these surgeries is flawless, and these makeup is flawless. You can you can transform into a woman, and you get your you soften your voice, and you can. You think you're looking at a woman in real time. I mean, right now, I mean, you got fake hair, the fake human hair, which is flawless. Eye contacts and the makeup could change you. The makeup out here can make you a brand new person. And then you got fake, fake breastesses and fake buttocks or pads you have, all different pads, football pads to pad you up. So you, from a, a size zero to a 36 triple D with the pads, I know I'm being over the top, but then you can tuck here and squeeze here and the outfits can just change you up and lift you up and then you can add the heels to give you extra three inches and, and the eyebrows and eyeshadow and all this other foolishness. And you're a brand new person. You're a one man. And there's a lot of deception out here too. Not like uh, people is telling you if you're trying, if you're going out, they'll just let it ride until all the clothes is off. Then you, you want to fight. The moment of truth. Maybe some of y'all, the moment of truth will go in, but that's a no, another different story. So. Again, I know I went off the topic a little bit in terms of uh, is same-sex marriage a good thing, but I just wanted to give you some of those perspectives in terms of just information on, you know, what's out here and how far we can go with this. So, in conclusion, it is up to you. It's up to you. But in life, in general, everybody has to pay a price. Good, bad, up and down. There's a price you have to pay for this. For your feelings, your opinions. So... The choice is yours. What say you? Thank you for listening. Thank you.